It's a sure sign of fall, the political signs, and yet another Prop 1 in Seattle. I, I stopped them. This one called the Families Education and Preschool Letter. Kids need to have good thinking skills. A $620 million request to expand early learning options, supported by the council. We think about this as a very modest levy. One of a quad of property tax increases that could impact Seattle homeowners and championed by Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin. And, and while you always have that concern, we have always historically supported education. You know, clearly the property tax has become a, a, a front of mind issue for a lot of King County taxpayers. John Wilson is the King County Assessor. Combined with the way real estate values have been going up, it was just kind of a one-two punch. He's been fielding the phone calls and crunching the numbers after the first shoe dropped last year. The, the, the McCleary decision uh, and what the legislature did. Roughly, we figured about 67% of this year's increase was solely due to what the legislature did to fund K-12 education. Just this past week, his office rolled out a new tax transparency tool to allow property owners to see their bill with and without the new levy. So finally, you get to see it in dollars and cents, not how many lattes or pizzas it is, not the mythic median house, but what's it gonna mean for my house? Currently, many Seattle homeowners pay 10 different forms of property tax. The family ed levy would likely increase the bill. Two more Seattle school levies are up for renewal in February. And while he's not debating the need, Wilson does wonder, how much longer Seattleites will tax themselves. On the one hand, the property tax is getting to a point where it's just not sustainable. The answer may come next week, if not in the months ahead. In Seattle, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.